Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles for tonight's main event. Five rounds in the light heavyweight division between Roy Jones Jr. and Jermaine Taylor. Roy Jones Jr.'s focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Jermaine Taylor's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. They are scheduled for five. Round one underway. So many have said they're going to get right to business. Let's see if they go at it. How do you do? Holy cow. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. Good looking counter by Taylor. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Good block by Roy. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Not well targeted by Roy Jones. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Jermaine Taylor. Whatever game plan and strategy they may have come in with, Teddy, they may have just thrown it out the window. They're trading blows nonstop in the round one. Everything's been thrown out the window. Everything in the room is going out the window, and we love it. Place counter punch by Jermaine Taylor. Down he goes in the early goings here. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Both guys have a Oh! Roy Jones Jr. is almost up. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Not able to land the headshot. Gets rid of that effort. Of the talk. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Keep doing great. Keep the pressure on him. Keep on, keep on him. Jab and move. Jab and move. He's got to find a way 
way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab this guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's going to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Roy Jones Jr. has never been bashful about posting of his skills and accomplishments. Do you think that that has helped him throughout his long boxing career? That's a good point, Joe. I think his personality is definitely connected to his particular skill set. If he was an artist, he's a guy who expresses himself not on, of course, the canvas traditionally, but inside that ring, inside that square circle by the way he goes about his business in a flamboyant way, in a way that has a lot of passion, a lot of flair. Now that's some fine work right there by Roy Jones. <laughs> Halfway through this round, not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Roy Jones Jr. is learning a real lesson here, how one single moment can change an entire fight. Ever since... Wow! Roy. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. up well when you drop your hands you pull back you do all those things sooner or later there's a chance you're gonna hit the deck now it's up to Jones to find a way to survive I don't know what was said to him in the corner but now he's the busier man yeah he's aware that he has to be well here he is Teddy Roy Jones jr. coming off of an amateur career that everybody knows about I don't care if you're a boxing fan or not because of what happened in the 1988 Olympic Games when he was absolutely robbed of a gold medal. It actually changed the scoring system, the rules of how they went about the Olympic amateur scoring. They instituted a new program because of that terrible robbery. But you know what? We look at the negative. I'll tell you the positive. That stays with you. Stay with Holyfield when he did not get a chance to get his gold medal in the Olympics, when he was disqualified, where a lot of people thought he shouldn't have been disqualified. It has stayed with Jones. It has made him... Oh, and there you go. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. well with his guard and a good counter by Jermaine Taylor Jermaine Taylor is putting together punch stats tonight that flow right in line with what his strategy is outside fighter throwing lots of jabs landing lots of jabs well what it is is the jab is the table setter and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted For the second time tonight, he goes down. Roy Jones! 
be partying tonight. A knockout victory. Roy Jones Jr. is your winner by knockout. Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.